A new Spider-Man 2 patch is dropping today, and we got a preview of upcoming DLC. Enough said. What a do-do right nation. I'm back with Super News Bits, bringing you the latest superhero news in less than three minutes because I respect your time if you subscribe. So if you want to be kept up to date with the latest games from Marvel and DC, hit the like button so it will reach more people. But if it wasn't for you, change it to a dislike. We've got a lot of information to go over today from Marvel Spider-Man 2. And fortunately, it's not about weirdos crying about Miles Morales being Spider-Man. The actual game has been out now for over two weeks and Insomniac has continued to drop new patches in order to further polish the game, which launched with various performances. Issues. In addition, they confirmed the game will be further updated with fan requested features that were in the previous games like New Game Plus and Mission Select. No confirmation yet on if they will add the feature that will allow you to change the weather or time of day, but if they don't, there is of course a way for you to do it right now as I explained in a previous video. But today, Insomniac provided a brand new patch to address some specific issues players had and they made the notes available once again on their blog. Some of the fixes include NPCs that spawn on top of each other on boats, which I personally saw yesterday and it's pretty funny. They also address more serious issues like player saves being corrupted. I'm curious if this patch will address the infinite air glitch, which allows you to not only max your character level really fast without doing any missions, but allows you to fly through the undiscovered parts of the map because Insomniac doesn't always include changes to the game in the notes, like when they patched the Daredevil Easter egg by putting Matt and Foggy's name back on the plaque and removing the eviction notice after fans pointed out the several Daredevil teases in the game, which many believe prove he'll be appearing in future DLC. Creative director Brian Intihar's Daredevil comments have also been a big clue that he's in their future plans. But if you play Spider-Man 2 and finish the Flame side quest, you know about the massive reveal at the end, which is, of course, that Yuri Watanabe has been chasing Cletus Cassidy this whole time, and he has a sample of the symbiote that will turn him into Carnage. This is likely going to be where the DLC story takes us next. Speaking of DLC, PlayStation gave us a preview of an upcoming one for Spider-Man 2 that will bring with it new costumes. Spider-Man 2 will be doing a new collaboration with artists similar to the deluxe edition outfits as well as the Kumo and Brooklyn suits. This new collab is headlined by Kid Super and the DLC will include these four new suits which appear to be split between Peter and Miles evenly. The news isn't all good though as fans have started boycotting future Spider-Man 2 content as well as the sequel Spider-Man 3. I'll talk about that in the next video on screen. 